Looking forward to another big game tomorrow night. <coughs> yeah, big game tomorrow. Hopefully we can take them three points to have a chance to stay in the top six. Obviously you, you play them in the, the Scottish Cup semi-final as well. How important is it that you could lay down a marker against Aberdeen and show them that you're, you're here to, to make the final as well? We, we're we going to try to play uh, our best, as usual. We're going to give everything, try to do what the GAFA tells us to do. And hopefully come out with the three points. What positives can you take from the, the game at the weekend that you can take into this game on Tuesday? I'd say more focus and don't don't do silly mistakes. Well, everyone makes mistakes, but obviously we if we make mistake, hopefully we we'll get away with it. Is that frustration that it was just you know that 10, 15 minutes of the second half that sort of where you you lost a bit of concentration that let Rangers in? Yeah, of course we didn't start well the second half, and I think we have to learn from it. Start. 100% from the st from the start from the whistle. Is, is this game on Tuesday as well? It's a chance to show the manager for the players that they're worthy of a of a place in the squad or in the team when they play at Hamden the week after as well. Well, after every game, I think uh, playing every game, you have to prove the manager that he's made the right decision to play to play you. So that's why every, everyone give 100%. You obviously had two two big games. Here in the last couple of weeks against Celtic Rangers, showing you can compete well with them. Is it, you feel as a team confident going into every game that you can you can win. Yeah, I think we feel confident because uh, I think against Celtic and Rangers it wasn't too uh, poor result. I think they were good results. I think we could have won against Rangers, but I think everyone is feeling confident. Everyone is in good in a good form. So hopefully, Tuesday night we. Well. How did you? How did your international call up go? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, but um, I didn't play a, a long time for the game. But obviously happy and proud to to have been called up. Yeah, was that? Did it come as a surprise to you? Or was it something? Uh, yeah, surprise yeah, because he came very quickly. Um, I went there late after everyone else because I got called up after everyone else. But I was a bit shocked, but obviously happy. Yeah, I mean you've you've made great progress since coming to Motherwell. You know, your first season to get an international call up like that must must give you a lot of encouragement about how you're doing. Yeah, of course, because he shows that um, if you're doing good, you have some rewards. So I think that's what I've been doing, and I've been being called up is very very good for me. Did you when you came to Motherwell? Did you always think that you were you could get a good run in a team? Has it have, it's how well you've done even surprised you a bit? bit. No, to be honest, when I first came, I didn't think I would um, play every game straight away. Uh, I thought I would start on the bench, then slowly coming up, then maybe being a starter, a regular starter, but I didn't, know, I, I didn't expect that season, to be honest. Is there a real determination amongst all of you to really make this a really memorable season? Obviously, you've had the cup final and it was a Disappointment in there, but it's still a good run to get there. Now you've got another chance in the next. Yeah, it's been a good achievement being to the cup final. We didn't win, but uh, still, still good, and we're gonna try to do the same thing, and hopefully this time we're gonna try to win.